Welcome back everybody, Andre with Eagle Express. I wanted to show you guys something. I've got a Benz scanner. Basically this thing here is created for the Mercedes Benz, any model. As long as it's a Mercedes and it's a Benz, this is a decent scanner. You can do coding on here. You can do all kinds of cool things deeper than any kind of little scanner you can get at a, you know, Walmart or O'Reilly or, or really any of those places. So hope you guys uh, can see the benefit of this and we'll look at it on my van um, itself because I've opened this before. I've did an update on it, but I haven't um, done anything as far as like, you know, going in there. User manual inside comes with the OBD2 reader. So we'll hook all this up real quick and then we'll see what's what's going on with me and what I can correct and what I can clear as far as codes. Look how, you wanna see what negative 11 does? Negative 11 degrees, I, I looked in my coffee cup and I'm like, man, looks like a little frost in there. Oh, negative 11. This is the kind of weather we're dealing with and this is what you get. Maybe, maybe this will thaw out by tomorrow, so I don't know, we'll see, keeping that. Um, Let's hook this guy up. Just goes to your OBD2 right here on the left hand side on the bottom. We'll plug it in real quick and we'll do a quick scan and we'll do a quick uh, look see at what's going on. So let's go look. So, what you want to do is accessory on. Do not start your vehicle, but accessory stays on. And your stuff is right over here. So, you just go and plug into here. Things like that. Get back inside. We got our diesel heater running. 89%. Okay, we're just gonna go hop through the menus really quick. Turn this guy on. Power button right here. So this thing can charge up on its own. I'm at 89%. I've charged it before. It's been laying around in the van for a while. Um, I haven't really used this one before, so I do not know exactly how, what's going on. We'll go hit diagnose, because I do have a check engine light on. So maybe we'll do diagnose. Kind of go through this auto detective in. It's scanning. Okay, I was doing a quick update, so we paused the video for that. Now it's supposedly got my VIN number. I don't even know if that's correct. Reading, Sprinter. So here we go. We're going to click OK. This thing's like a whole little iPad. So it's looking like it's asking me up to 2013 or as of 2013. We're going to go as of 2013. That's what I have. Diesel engine, of course. Oh my, left hand steering, automatic transmission. I don't even know what this is. Health report, system selection. We'll do system selection. Chassis body, so you can go into all these things. Seats and doors, climate control, um, drive systems, driver assistant. Information and communication. I don't even know what to choose. Let's try some drive systems. ECM, so computer. Uh, fuel pump, you can go into that. Uh, catalytic reduction. You guys see this? This is insane. You can come in, you can calibrate your transmission with this. ECM, you can go into that. Uh, transfer case, you can go into that. You can go into your fuel pump as well with something else wow we'll go to the engine ECM ignition is on read let's read some fault codes and see what's going on so variant coding there's a lot to do in here wow this thing goes deep read fault code Okay, so we got mixture too lean. Here's my some of my codes that I had before. And these codes are actually present as well. So I've been driving like this ever since I bought the van because nobody's smart enough to fix any of this. 
so we got temperature sensor down, stream exhaust, cooler has a malfunction. So I've got a fuel filter header, has an electric fault, open circuit. How about that? Some stored ones. Mixture too lean, stored. What can I do here? Search. <clears throat> Let's go deeper into this. So, I have a different kind of Wi-Fi, which I didn't reset up on here. So it's not reading the codes. Well, it's not going in deep to actually look up the codes online, but I know my codes. So you back out of that and then you can clear your codes. Clear, erase. Turn off ignition. So it's going to clear all these codes? Completed, okay. So you turn the ignition on and off. Now well, let's try to start the van. See if I got that check engine light still on. Disappeared. No more. So let's go to read codes again, if we can. I'll do it with the vehicle running. Usually you're not supposed to, but... Let's see if it's going to come up. Oh, these are still stored. So they're stored in here. They have not gone away as far as like deep in the computer. There's a storage for these. Call clear, read data stream, something variant coding. What does that do? <clears throat> I don't know any of this. So I'm not gonna go messing because I got two loads to pick up. One tonight still, and then one for tomorrow, and there's no way I'm gonna go into all these deep details. But my check engine light is off, you guys can see. Let's see what else we can do a test on. We did an ECM. I don't know what this is. CRS. Electronic transmission control. ECM. Let's try this one. Read fault code. No trouble codes in that. Back out. Fuel pump, natural gas, transfer case, transmission. <clears throat> we'll read a fuel pump. Okay, it's not letting me do that. We'll try to read the first fuel pump. Maybe because it's running. Yeah, it's running, so. You don't want to do all that with your vehicle running. Huh, it's not reading that. Let's go back out of that. <clears throat> so we can, we could do the drive system, then we could do chassis. Body, drive, assistance system. Driver, what does this do? Parking system, left. Radar sensor, right. Look, look at all this. Intelligence, I don't have any, I don't think I even have any of that. Body. Headlamp adjustment. This has a ton of stuff. Tons, tons, tons. Let's do a health report. I don't know what that even does.
So I did a diagnostics report, which tells me that I've got some issues, some ECM, abnormal three things in there, mixture too lean, basically the codes that I had with the computer system. So those are those. And then we go ESP, electronic stability program. I had some issues with this. Um, and then I corrected it. I do have a video on it, but it's got some stored stuff. Tire pressure monitor. We've had that. So those are, those have been stored. Signal, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what all this. Brake light. Left open circuit. Right turn signal. Open circuit. Basically tells you all the codes with your lights if you have any lights. Fog lamp. I've got LED lights, so it doesn't like them. That's what that's all about. Tire pressure monitor. Of course, left, right, and whatever. Had issues before. Don't have those now. Sam, signal acquisition and whatever, I don't know. Oh, okay, that's the same stuff. Air conditioning, something abnormal. Electrical line, blah, blah, blah. Air distribution has an open circuit or short circuit from a long time ago. That's when my uh, fan didn't work. So this has, you can go deep with this. I'll go in a little deeper. Clear code. Yes, clearing all the codes again. You guys can go in deeper with this bad boy and see, you know, what you end up with. But it's definitely, okay. Ignition on, okay. Pretty easy to use. I like that it's a touch screen. So I clear defaults. And then we're done. Only one code is in here. Electrical line to component, blah, blah, blah. Air distribution, something, something has an open circuit. It doesn't like my, my, uh, my fan is making noises. So I think it's going to go out soon. That's why it's doing all that kind of stuff. But basically, here it is. We'll do a little deeper, maybe, coding some other time i do have to run to go pick up a load guys so thank you very much for watching this if you watched it to the end i'm going to leave a link in the description for this guy right here so you guys can actually pick one up it's not expensive it's under 200 dollars. so i think it's a very very good investment for you know mercedes or i run a freightliner you guys are going to ask some questions why is your thing say freightliner because this van is actually a freightliner so it works for a Dodge Sprinter, Freightliner Sprinter, or Mercedes Sprinter. It works for all of them. So that's why mine's an actual Freightliner. Old owner had a bunch of Mercedes. He switched everything out. So I've got Mercedes in the front, Mercedes badge in the back. Everybody thinks it's a Mercedes, but it's actually a Freightliner, which is same thing. My parts are all Mercedes. If I need to go, you know, get parts, I always go to Mercedes. It's cheaper there. You can go to Freightliner as well and order from them. They usually never have anything in stock. So... Once again, if you guys want to look this up, look it up. Launch is the name of it. Elite 2.0 Benz. It shows everything that it can do. Graphing, reports, diagnostic troubleshoot codes. You can upgrade. It's got unlimited lifetime upgrades. So as, as, as programs come out, as things come out, as updates come out, free updates on this. So pick one up if you'd like one. Link will be down in the description. God bless you guys. Take care. See you next time.